right, this thing is annoying and frustrating. So in this video, I'm doing a product review on the boxing reflex ball, and do I think it's worth it? new to my channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button also if you want to get hold of one of these i will be putting a link down in the description below from amazon where you can pick one up if you do click on that and buy it i will get a small percentage of the sale but it won't cost you no more money just to let you know that but before you buy it you might want to listen to this product review what i've got to say about it so the ball right this is what it comes with. It comes with one, two, three, four different coloured balls. You've got a red one, a black one, a blue one and a yellow one. I've already give, taken the yellow one out and give it to my boy to play with. So I've got this bit at the back, a bit of information to say how it improves your reflexes, a little bit about the product. It's also got a bit saying that, um, see if you can beat the record what someone's done on it, which is 42 hits in a row. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom there. I'll try and zoom in for you. Okay, so like I said, it comes with different coloured balls. What has this string on it? Here's one I made earlier. It also comes with uh, another headband as well, which you can put on, which I thought was really cool. So basically, you've got two of them in the one box. You basically got, like I said, you've got two of them. So if you own a gym or something, you could take it down for two people. Wouldn't advise using a black ball as it would probably be a bit harder to see. So let's set it up, set it up with the the blue ball. <coughs> so yeah, it's basically untangled. It comes on a bit of string. You got a hoop on the bit. What goes in your head? You hook that through there. You attach it round to your head. And there you go, voila, you're basically ready to go. As you can see, that, sh that string is well too long for me. So you can adjust the string. Cut it down and just tie it up onto it. Like I said, here's the one I've done earlier. It's perfect length for me. So let's give this thing a rock and roll. And let's give my honest opinion about it. In his opinion, this thing is annoying and frustrating, do not fight. No, seriously though, it is very hard and difficult to get going with it. Don't know how the hell that whoever done managed to get a 42 in a row. But I have seen people with it who are really good at doing it, but other than looking a bit silly. And it's been very, very hard. I'm not too sure about it, I must be honest. A couple of things about I like about it is when you start off, you kind of have to start punching down till you can get it down in front of you. Oh, got a little bit in there. Right, but the one thing I do like about it is I suppose it is hard, so I know I'm saying I don't like it, but if it was too easy, then, I don't know, it wouldn't be too good. But it does come back and hit you in the face. So you do have to sort of have your wits about that. But as for an actual workout, and is it going to make you a better fighter, I kind of see this a little bit like a speedball. You're never going to start off like this in a fight, are you? But it's like the speedball. 
There's people, when you're doing that, you never do that in a fight, do you? But it's all about rhythm and timing. So there is this aspect to it. It has, you have to have very good rhythm and timing to get good at it. But it's almost like you have to train specifically for that. Will that translate into fighting? Yeah, definitely a little bit, it seems in the face then. So definitely a little bit because you are still punching out. And like I said, it is still coming back and hitting us. So you still have to have your head movement about the arm, maybe practicing your blocking in your elbows. But it just seems really hard. And for the amount of time and effort I'd imagine you'd have to put into this to get really good, where you could maybe practice that in other areas what would get you faster, better results to translate you need to fight with. But, saying that, when you do get a little well on the go, it is quite good and fun. So you have got that aspect to it as well. If you've been training a long time like me, like I often talk about, it's nice to practice and A little bit different, there, guys. See, you call it a bit well by there. Like I say, it's a show that it has to sort of start down here. I find myself flicking it up with my head to try and get it up to get my punches up and out straight quicker rather than just starting off punching down here because you won't really do that in a fight, would you? But as for a little workout. Or maybe you can have a warm up. Definitely, yeah. Stick, stick this on your head, you will 10 minute warm up, have a little practice back, get your reflexes going. This sort of thing will probably be good as well. Maybe um, when you're going through a fight camp and it's the last week leading up to a fight and you're not really sparring as much anymore. This would be quite good for that, I would imagine, actually, because of your reflexes, and it's not going to hit you, it's not going to hurt hitting you in the face, because it's quite a small ball, but obviously you still want to have your reflexes about you to be able to dodge, slip out the right way and block, and just try and parry. So it could be good for, for that as a little warm up. But, other than that, I'd say this ain't a necessity for a gym. I wouldn't, I'm not going to turn around to you and say, oh, you've got to buy this, this will make you such a better fight, or it will get your hand time, your coordination, your speed up. I think it will help with them things, but there are other things you can do that will also help with them things. So I wouldn't say it's a necessity. But what, what I would say, for a light, easy bit of training, if, you, if you're doing some light, easy training, or for a warm up, then yeah, it's definitely a bit of fun. It's something different. It's just quite hard. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll stick with it for a little while and I'll do a video in a couple of months' time. Let us know what you think about that. Give it a thumbs up if you think I should do that. Really try and stick it in for a bit and then give it a review from someone who's got good at it because I'd imagine you'd find the benefits a lot better once you have got better with it. So anyway, bit of a mixed bag of reviews for this. So um, let us know what you think in the comment section. Let us know if you've used one or if you're going to use one, going out and buy one. Oh, it's just so frustrating to be rubbish in it. So yeah, let's know what you think. Oh.